I'll say 2021 has been a, a crazy year and I'm over it, really. I mean, a lot of good things have happened. I'm not complaining about my life. I have a pretty awesome life, but I love my job. I got a great job. Um, love my kiddos. They're awesome. Love the fam. Love my friends. But, you know, there's a lot of things that have happened. You know that. Uh, but, I, the, I, I ordered the metric. I ordered the standards. I, I ordered some screwdrivers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Look how much riding you can do out here. Hello. So how's it going over here? Good. I've just I ripped my hose out, and it reminded me yesterday. So we're cruising along. It was a little bit cool. Like this is cooling my head right now because I'm even though it's cold, I'm. People say it doesn't, but it does. I love it. Yeah. It does. Like when you get is. yeah, when you get sweat on your end, it runs. Uh, it definitely does. So anyway, I uh, we're cruising along, and it was uh, a little bit chilly, so I turned it off. And we're, after a while, I'm like I'm driving. I'm like. Can't I, see? Yeah, I couldn't see, but I wasn't, like, aware of what... I couldn't figure out put my finger on. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's all fogged up. So, flipped it back on. Yeah, the pumper... Flipped it back on, yeah. yeah. The pumper rocks. The pumper does rock, because you put it back on, and then anti... There's no... That's the whole point. It's moving the air uh, through your helmet, so you're not doing that fogged up thing. And I could have, to avoid the being a little bit chilly, I could have just turned it down a little bit. But. Yeah. But we like to go all the way up to 11. That's right. On everything. Look at this. All right, so thank you, Rugged. Uh, and see that dust in front of us? Yeah. It's not in our face. But see this? We are, we're riding close. We're not a half a mile back because we got no dust in our helmet. Yeah. Not in our face. When we get out, we don't have that dirt mustache. Nope. Nothing wrong with it if you do. Nope. Yeah. And that, you know, the distance can be cool. Right. But it's easier when you're doing this to not get separated and have issues. So, uh, don't you, gotta keep them separated. And we're getting, you know, blasted by, uh, I put some shine armor on our shields. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, we got the I shine think armor. It's keeping the dust off a little. I we think got it is. mud on it, and I washed it off, but as far as dust, it seems to be staying off pretty well, good. We'll talk about the shine armor stuff later, too, talking about product things that we use because, uh, we got to do a little bit of looky loos at the spots that he put that, uh, shine armor graphene ceramic spray at. We'll come back. This is all about, like, what we love. We're so, we're sharing with you because we've been through a lot of stuff. There we go. So, we wanted to just do this quick, something that we usually never do, but I thought we'd wrap it all into one, like, quick segment for you guys. A lot of people ask us, what kind of GPS do you use? What was the name of that stuff that you sprayed your car with? Um, what kind of belts are you running? Blah, blah, what do you recommend? And we love that. We love hearing from you. And we always try to respond to every question, but I thought that we'd do it all in one video so that maybe, you know, we could all just come together and you guys can give us suggestions, too. Um, so, as far as GPS, we're running a Garmin Nuvi here. We've been, you guys have watched the channel for a while. You know that this is our go-to GPS. It's actually not a Garmin Nuvi. It's a... Um, oh, it's a, Drive Smart. Drive Smart. That's right. We trade it with a Nuvi, whatever. But we got a Garmin Drive Smart. We use this as a, in our daily driver. This goes in the truck. We pop it out of here and put it back into Boosty, the F-250, for the road driving, not just off-road. Right now, it is set to off-road. Oh, careful here. Oh, off-road mode. Um, and all, you get used to reading it. It's really accurate. We always end up, well, not always, but a lot of times leading people back to camp or to where we need to be because this is just a solid solution. There's breadcrumbs on here. So um, it kind of gives you an overview of what the track that you take, you've take you taken before so you know where you're trying to get back to. You can mark your spots. But So that's the Jeepus. Um, we're talking about, we've been using, we just started using this new product, so we're not... Right now, so far, I feel like it's doing pretty good. We sprayed it on the Turbo S. There's a video up on that. I'll link it below. But uh, we're working with Shine Armor. They have that new graphene ceramic spray. It's just a uh, easy DIY ceramic application. You can use it on a standalone basis or over your existing ceramic coating. And um, it's supposed to be like, a, you know, it's uh, hydrophobic, so water repellent, not allow like dust and whatnot to stick to you. So SC1 has been our go-to when we're not using Pledge because SC1 is kind of pricey too sometimes. But uh, it kind of dust adheres to it. It's real uh, slick. So you get that slickery, slick, like, you know, showroom look, but then you 
get the dust that sticks to it, and that's hard to get off. Uh, so what I will we... say, I sprayed some, don't know if it's recommended, but I sprayed some on our, uh, uh, what do you call Transition it? Transition visors. And, yeah, and it didn't seem to hurt them, and I do feel like... The dust isn't sticking. Yeah, the dust, normally even, this isn't super dusty conditions, but that's enough that we would have had... Have a film. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we got muddy yesterday. Did the mud come off, flake off pretty easily? Didn't kind of... You know, the mud actually, it was it was on there as normal, probably. You okay. Know, I to, but it, I rinsed it right off. So who knows? I don't know. It well, might've... yeah, I mean, we don't know for sure yet. But we're just try, we're just giving you our opinion on what our... Not our opinion. The things we use, what we do, real yeah. world. I'm going to tell you this right here. These Nori, like, uh, full heat glove liners they're, they're being used as standalone gloves at the moment but these are glove liners i got them at work so if you're interested in those i'll put a link um at Clawson motorsports out in fresno those are so far winning yeah they changed the game so we've been out in the desert with no gloves on accident i'm not wearing any right now but i have mine in the door bag but as a driver you don't have an option to put your hands underneath your legs no okay uh so left up here kind of fall on that jeep copy we're gonna go left and follow that jeep um so we, we've been miserable basically and as a driver you don't have the option you've seen him on my leg warmer right? no hands no hands yeah so uh you know these with the gloves on them would be awesome but he's wearing them standalone like i said and they were amazing. I had mine on yesterday. Totally changed the game. There's not... It's just like that base layer clothing, you know? Which I have a base layer shirt on right now I'm wearing. And uh, it's awesome. It totally, totally changes everything. Um, what else are we running in here? And this is... A, and just point out, this is not a how-to. This is what we do. Yeah, we're just showing you what we do. People ask questions. I thought you might want yeah. to just throw some stuff so in. To, so, so... A, a pretty non-standard for off-roading uh, use of a, of a GPS. Yeah. Uh, we use whatever works best for us uh, within our budget. Yeah. So, I mean, we don't like to live outside of our means. This is a pricey habit, so we like to spend more money yeah. on the cars and less money on the accessories. Yeah. Not to say that the, we'd love to have the other ones too, but, you know, we are where we are. And then some of the more common stuff, we use rugged radio communications, we use rugged pumper. And we uh, wouldn't switch I anything for that. That's do you like these seats? These were some, uh, I don't know, you know, whatever seats. Not these are, yeah, we got them pretty cheap. They were the house brand at a, what different, like at a, uh, at, a dealer, at a dealership kind of thing. Because they were at the sand show, we got them. Yeah. Um, these and belt qualifier helmets are pre-wired. These are rugged. Uh, yeah. We got these from Rugged, too. They're already I do free. love these helmets. They're lightweight. They're comfortable. Every other helmet we had before this had fallen apart by the time they were this old. And, and we end up... And also free. just never felt as comfortable to Yeah, me. they weren't as comfortable and they fall, fell apart. Plus, you know... These, these transition the lenses, by the way, speaking oh, yeah? of helmets, yeah. are the shit. They Leave are. that in. They're amazing. So, you see, they're dark right now. I can't tell they're dark. To me, let's see if you can see through them. I hope that comes through so you can see. <laughs> I don't know if it did, but I hope it did. So um, I can't tell when they're darkened, like when they're getting dark, like he can't tell, but then they lighten up when the sun goes down so you have that clear vision. Uh, and they, like I said, with the pumpers here, pushing that dust out, not anti-fog and everything else, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, so those are a couple of the things that we use all the time in the cars. Uh, like I said, it's just people no, ask us, so. I, I will say this, so a better air compressor. We need a better air compressor. Uh, oh, we, yeah. We don't have a specific brand, but there are different kinds. There are little plastic ones, but there's those little metal housing ones that are about this big. They work great. That one yesterday we used, so we have a Harbor Freight one, which we love Harbor Freight still. That's budget friendly to us, and it just, it costs $9. We do expect much. <laughs> it was really just for looks. I don't know. So we could say we had one? It's, Good help, one. it's helped with a few pounds here and there, but not... If you have all day, it'll work. Yeah. But we, uh, one of our guys, Dave, that was riding with us, he actually had one that he got at Costco, little red one, and I hooked it up to the battery just directly because he had the little alligator clips. He didn't have the 12-volt connector hooked in. And I'm telling you, that thing just boop uh. immediately. So we're going to have to get a new air compressor to run in the car. We have this... Uh, 
we had the Plano, like the bow box that we bought from Dick's Sporting Goods, and that's what we were running as a, like, basically as a cargo box, which fit perfectly back there, and it was awesome. It was a 60-buck solution or something, put some locks on it, ran some uh, freeze plugs down through the bottom, one-inch freeze, freeze plugs from AutoZone that fit perfectly in the back of that, right? Yeah. But uh, right now, then Dean sold his, because, you know, you know, we do Dean, right there. Uh, so we bought his Can-Am, actual OEM-branded uh, cargo box. Love it. It's awesome. Fits perfectly. Carries all the gear that we need. We have all kinds of tools back there. We can talk about what we carry as far as tools go for riding. If you guys are interested, let us know. We'll we'll go over that at some point. We've gone over it before I, for our last desert trip, but that was a different kind of beast. I do. I'm... Norte Americano right there, foo. All right, so uh, we're hitting this trail. Um, so we got, like, some of the, like we said, we what we recommend as far as, okay, these, like, Simpson D3s, again, pretty standard, but awesome. Wouldn't go to another oh, yeah. different harness at all. These are amazing. They're easy to use, easy to adjust. Well, like, again, put a link to those below. The, so the side mirrors that we have in this car, yeah. like them. What, which ones are these? Size, uh, seismic. Seismic. Oh, yeah, yeah. I so, love these mirrors. Here's a, I see. You can actually see. So I see a lot of people buy mirrors. I've seen it a lot lately. Uh, inexpensive mirrors and the, the ones with the lights on them, I love them. But here's one thing I see uh, people do a lot. They buy mirrors that are not convex and they're really hard to see out of. Yeah, it's they're almost bigger, pointless. It's a little easier, but these work so much better. You don't, can actually see what's going on. You're right, because I used to, I can never usually see. Don't get me wrong. I want the ones with the lights in them, but the you know, high-end ones are really expensive. Okay, we'll do. Um, having communications is key, really. They say that in life, relationships, and out here riding, it's even more important. Uh, but what else? We got door bags that would not go anywhere. We're running PRP door bags in this car. Uh, just having something to put there, put your stuff in. We don't have them in the Turbo S, and I miss it every freaking time we ride in that car. Ugh, it's just awesome to have them. It's also a little padding against some, you know, if you happen to get a little. The powder coating on here that's holding up is not powder coating. This is going to be some Rust-Oleum custom, <laughs> Rust-Oleum gunmetal gray, like, uh, spray can paint that we put on ourselves, and it happens to match the lettering in the back that says Can-Am. Trust me, I know. Yeah. Um, and it works great, so we get compliments on it. Uh, How about for our sand people? We're running the Douglas wheels and, uh, uh, sand, or not sand, we have Sandcraft front tires, actually, but we have the, um, Yeah, scat tracks in the back, and then we got the sand crafts in the front yeah, for the sand um, and we're running on those Douglas yellow label blacked out wheels we love them we bought those from Dean also the key to that setup is light yeah it's they're so light and it makes it may, you know it's like it's at, it's like adding 20 horsepower when you put that light above it, feel, it feels good now here we're just running stock right we're running our uh, yeah. maxes we're actually running some uh, tires that come off of Razor XP Pro. We're taking yeah. a little break right now. Desert break. A Drake. I Look where we be. What are you guys doing? How'd you guys get all the What's way up happening? here? What's happening? I what? was flown in by the aliens. You dropped right here? Yep. Oh, obviously this is alien rock formation. Absolutely. Um, what else could explain it? How did these people get here? Obviously. We were all for pie. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I had some uh, cherry cheesecake for breakfast thanks to this dummy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, they're trying to slow us down. So she keeps bringing me pie and stuff. <laughs> we'll just get a bigger turbo. Joke's on you. <laughs> oh, oh God. Like you told me you got them, you know, so I, I ordered. Let's buy on these, I ordered, dude. Uh, has the, the, uh, I, I ordered the metric. I ordered the standards. And I, I ordered some screwdrivers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So they all shows up. I didn't get screwdrivers. They sent me this big old bad hinge grinder with my name on it, and I paid like uh, eight bucks. Yeah, something cheaper. Than uh, okay, I'll order screwdrivers. Like, oh, Where'd like you nice. get this from again? Let's just try this. Uh, I got this from uh, Walmart.com, oh, and they fulfilled my order. To the fullest. 13, 17, 30, 30, <laughs> Listen to me. We ordered from Walmart.com. Oh, yes. And they are great at delivery, better than any other place. Good luck. I'm going to say this on air. I don't care. FedEx. Target, you suck. You need to step up to Walmart's game. Boom. We'll go back. We'll get a whole video about like complaints and stuff pretty soon here. But let's take a little view of the scenery. How about that? <laughs> we'll never do this part of it, like walking around with you guys. Ooh. I'll say 2021 has been a, a crazy year and I'm over it, really.
I mean, a lot of good things have happened. I'm not complaining about my life. I have a pretty awesome life, but I love my job. I got a great job. Um, love my kiddos. They're awesome. Love the fam. Love my friends. But, you know, there's a lot of things that have happened. You know that. But look at this. This is the way that we start off 2022. This is where I get to start my life at, my, my day, my year, whatever. How can anybody complain about anything when they get to do this? I'm going to go up on the other side to be up high. Top of the world. So hopefully you guys all had a great 20, 21, a great New Year's. Okay, how do I do this? Hang on. I had to focus. Uh... I guess I should have gone up this way. Huh. Wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Okay. Look. Yeah. That's the view. Look how much riding you can do out here. There's Ridgecrest down there. Huh. I need to, obviously in 2022, cardio needs to be put into my, uh, put into my plan. Huh. You hear that? You probably can't listen. So if there's something that we missed out or something that you think we should have or something that you're running that you think would be better than what we're running, let us know. We're always open to new suggestions. Just something different. Just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about it because we've been getting questions. Uh, well, we've been getting questions about some of the stuff. So, interested to know what you guys are running. And um, hope to see it in person someday. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe while you're here. we got lots of cool stuff coming up. Lots of things planned for 2022. It's going to be an awesome year. Starting it off right out here in the desert. Out here, uh, heading towards kind of Ridgecrest. Going to go get some gas because you can pull up to the pump out here. It's different. that We don't get to do that in Cali a lot. So, we're excited. But thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Hit the like button if you like it. If you don't, hit that dislike button two times. Cease and desist with the offending content. Want to hear from you. We've got links to everything that we use below so far that we've mentioned. Links to our group. And now we... So, we'll, uh, we'll be interested to hear what you have to say. Thank you, guys. Peace. Peace.